Hello YouTubers. Okay, um yesterday I made a video on um uh, that I'm going to be selling three properties. Um so I'm going to tell you about the first one which is in Stanford, Texas. And um I'm going to I'm going to do my best to try to explain as much as I I can, okay? It's two lots and it's in Stanford, Texas, and the address is 409 North Weatherby Street. And the zip code is 79553, okay? 409 North Weatherby Street in Stanford, Texas. And it's in downtown area. Okay, this is the deed uh, to it. On there, I wanted to let you know that it does say warranty deed with vendor's lien. Hold on. Okay, which is. Okay, and this is the vendor's lien on there. Okay, now um, I did do my due diligence, so I always recommend um, you to do the same. Do your due diligence. Okay, so there is a release of lien. So I, th they borrowed money for $10,000, but they paid it, so it was released. So when you do your due diligence just request for a release of lien just to if you want to make sure i have it here so i can always give you a copy um there is no taxes if you see no taxes due on this property it's two lots 11 and 12 or the parcel id 20717 okay and also let me see Calico. get off baby um, these pictures that I show you showing that the property is mowed and clean, okay? Well, the county, uh, has, uh, I guess if you want to say stipulation that it needed to be cleaned, that we had, that I had six months from when I got the deed to, um, which was in March 25th, okay? So I'm turning this in today. Um, mailing it out just so y'all know so there's uh, so everything is good if you have any questions uh, you can call me at 936-286-7211 you can call me or text me um, you can make a cash offer or um, just say what you offer, and if you can't, if you need payment plan, just let me know how much down payment you got and the monthly payments that you can afford. I'll show you right now more pictures of the property. Okay. Um. Yes, we can go through the title company. I prefer to do it that way because I don't have to do anything. <laughs> but the other way, I would, I would uh, do all the paperwork and uh, file the. Uh, the deed and um, send you the um, tracking numbers um, f from me to the um, what do you call it the recording uh, department and then the tracking number from the recording office to your house um, what else um so just let me know. Also, I'm going to be doing a uh, trade. I can trade um, maybe partial money and or maybe like a service or equipment. For example, like an excavator, a newer model mobile home. Um, one of them. I do have a property in Shepherd, Texas that I need to install an aerobic septic system. So I can do that as well and or a car hauler or even building services if you know how to build. Um, 
let me know and we can work something out. Uh, I mean, because there's a lot of people that know how to build, but they don't own property and want to own property. Uh, so let me know, guys. Um, and I'm also um, like if like if uh, you decide you want to get it, but need a payment plan. And if you for some reason cannot make the payment, just tell me, you know, um, in advance, at least let me know. Uh, as soon as you know, I mean, so I can give you a break, you know, <laughs> but I mean, other than that, uh, I mean, just talking, communicating with me, um, is important. And let me see, um, Okay, so I will not be checking your credit, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm the bank here, guys, so you don't have to worry about that, okay? And uh, and if you do make it in payment plans, I will accept Zelle, so there's no fees uh, or money order. or um, We can discuss other options of um, uh, how to pay that's convenient for both parties okay now if you have a big family and want to split like the cost uh we can arrange that as well um let me see oh yeah i almost forgot let me see calico on this property in stanford texas the the building permit guys the minimum is 15 dollars see so let's say, for example, you're going to build a 1,200 square foot home. You don't have to build a home. You can put like a shed or um, because that was one of the plans to put a shed and rent it out. If it doesn't sell, I told them, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a shed and rent it out like a little office space, you know. So, I mean, little sheds, they're inexpensive to build, Um but for example, 1200 square foot home is like an average size. So then you multiply by 0 0.03 and that'll let you know how much the building permit is going to be, which is not that much. Okay. Like the plumbing, the electrical, I mean, it's between 10 and $15. See the mechanical permit for the AC and heating and cooling installation is cheap. And there's already there um, pipes. Uh, for the utilities, uh, for the, there's an electric pole, there's, uh, I think it was the meter can that's there too, um, and the the only thing that I don't know about is the water line, I didn't look to see if there was, you know, one in the ground, which I'm sure there was, because there used to be a home there, and I think like a garage apartment, something in the back, um, so, yeah, and um, let me see. Hold on. Okay, this is what I wanted to tell you. It's two lots. It's 82.5 foot wide. Okay, that's in the front. And the depth is 90 foot uh, in depth. Okay, it's in the Jones County. And it's in the downtown area, guys. I mean... I was um, speaking to the, what is it, Chambers, Commerce Chamber, something. The lady, she actually stopped by. She was uh, driving by and she stopped. Oh, there, she's nice. And she told me, if you y'all need anything, just let us know, like, the permits or anything. We'll get it through fast. <laughs> so, uh, she gave me her number and everything. So, I mean, they're real cool people. Uh, she's like, it's simple here. She's like... If you're going to uh, build something, just draw it out real quick, you know, and that's it, you know. So it's not, they don't make a big deal out of things, you know. So that's good to know. And I have her number. If y'all want it, I can provide that to y'all. Um, also, on the, if you purchase it, just, I'm going to need your name or names you want on the deed. And if there's different people what percentage or the business name uh that you want the the deed under and the your current address with the county name and a contact number 
Um, and guys, if y'all have any questions or anything, just contact me and I will, if I don't know the answer, I will find it, okay? But as far as this property goes, there's no liens. I did my due diligence. There's no liens. Uh, there's no back taxes. There's no HOA. Um, let me see. I'm going to show you all some pictures besides. Give me a second. In case this is the front, um, uh, the front of the property, but to the left. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. <coughs> Ooh. Okay, that's the next door neighbor to the left. This here is an alleyway. Okay, those are, that's a pecan tree that's growing there not by itself. And that's a pine tree. I did plant some banana trees around the tree. I have a for rent or for sale sign. That's the slab, that's the driveway slab. Let me see. Uh, you see those pipes right there? That's for the gas meter. Okay, this is the walkway, and you can build here too. But the fence in the back, there's a lot right behind that fence, okay? And behind that lot is an alley. So you have an alley this way and an alley this way, okay? And then in front of that alley, there's uh, homes, businesses. There's like a Texaco, I think it's... I don't know if it's open. I don't remember. But there's um, a restaurant, I think, across the street and a car wash. And then to the right, just a few blocks down, is Walmart. Okay. Um, what else? And if you go to the left, it's the downtown square. Um, they have the BBVA. Um, I guess it's a corporate office. They have the post office, uh, Dollar General. Que mas? Uh, oh, they have a theater um, and a um, bunch of little stores. Um, I think they have a gym too there. Um, gas stations. Um, the library is... Uh, real close to uh, the park is very close. Everything is close. There's a kanjin, just streets down as well. Uh, well, uh, more, I mean, I don't know, like 10 or 12 blocks, I think. Um, what else is there? Um, there's even hotels there, guys. Uh, so if y'all want to go stay, I think they charge like, Seventy dollars a night, uh, and they're good. I've actually stayed there, so they're good. I uh, have no complaints about them. Um, um, let's see here. I'm just gonna kind of go through it. See, there's frogs or. Yeah, I need an excavator, so uh, if y'all want to trade, we can do that too. Um, partial money, trade, depending on what what kind of equipment you got. So let me know, guys, if you have any questions or in anything on the process. Uh, I'll make it go smooth. Um, and um, you could even contact them and they'll let you know, you know, it's under my name. <laughs> Let's see what else. Um, well, I think that's it. If you have any questions, let me know, guys, okay? Thanks for watching. And don't forget to share. Share this with your family, your friends. You know, maybe y'all can get it together or um, that kind of thing. And I'll be posting another property that, especially for you guys that love fishing, is in Crown Lake. Well, it's 
one and a half blocks to two blocks from Crown Lake. And it's a big property. So I'll be posting all the details. I don't think today, but tomorrow I'll be posting uh, one of the properties. I think I'll post that one tomorrow. So just be on the lookout. If not tomorrow, Thursday, okay? Thank you guys.